Hello guys, so today we're kind of doing a sketchbook tour. This is my ninth or 10th, I don't know exactly, because I started like two sketchbooks at once, one for watercolors and one for uh, colored pencils. So I'm not 100% sure if this is the ninth or 10th sketchbook. But anyway, uh, I painted the cover, a little bit chipped off here. Um, yeah, this is my character. I changed design through the things. So basically this first page is the thumbnails. Uh, but this is like the really thin page for this. And this is my profile picture currently. Um, this is, I used to wear just a black hoodie with a choker and like, this used to be my haircut. A month ago I got a different haircut and changed my color to a mint green, but yeah. I actually really like this page. <laughs> this actually looks like me, except for with bigger eyes, of course. But yeah, I was just sketching. Like you've seen this in my second video that I've made. Um, this, I don't know what I was doing. I don't really like it at all, but I took inspiration from a song that I was looking at. Um, and this page, you also know this page. I really like it, I just don't like that there's a huge space here, but I love this picture still. Um, the neck is too thick for my style. I like my necks really, really thin, like Lavender Town thin. If you don't know her channel, you should really watch it because it's really good. Um, except for a little thicker than Lavender Towns, maybe. So yeah, and I like drawing noodle arms. So yeah, this, that's kind of the representation of my style, or what I want my style to look like more. This is my character. Uh, oh yeah, swatches, but this is my character, bro. Um, but I changed her design drastically. She looks nothing like this anymore. I mean, very little. I always kept the hoodie and the gloves, but the gloves even look different. But her choice of weapon is still the same. Those double-sided knives and this really quick painting. Uh, years ago, I saw this sort of painting and I wanted to replicate it. So that's what I did. Okay, I love this page. Uh, I can tell that there is stuff wrong with it, with the face like the nose <laughs> there's stuff wrong with everything as you can see my style is kind of anime like but i do really like this page i like the attention to detail on these pillows i love this page um and i did it on an angle and i use a reference picture so it, it's surprising what reference pictures can really really do oh and then there's this which i decided to do a character inspired by red wine <laughs> Uh, with the color scheme of that uh, and so I just drew a glass of red wine and then I was experimenting with bright colors oh that hand look at that look at that hand look at that hand I mean that that is a very bad hand I hate those hands like what even is going on there I do kind of like um, the pose the, that this guy's in I don't know about the portions. I do like the off sleeve thing. I was gonna do off sleeve on this guy, but eh, sad not to. That's what that little thing is. There. Um, and I do like later this girl jumping with a reference, but it, it clearly didn't turn out well. Um, and this reference that I took and I wanted to make it kind of fluid. It looks like a bird, but it's actually not a bird. It's a moth and in the picture it even looks like a bird I'm like is that a bird that's a weird looking bird so I mean it looks like it is in the picture except for the thing supposed to end little snout supposed to end here and it didn't which it's a little too long but whatever you know it looks like in the picture but a little bit more abstract the background um, so yeah I was at the beach and I saw this thing, so I really just took out my markers and quickly splotched in shape and color. I don't like it, but I still have the picture that I took, and I really want to go back to this and actually make it look how it looked at the beach. It looks nothing how it looked. <laughs> it looks really bad. 
Uh, so I was at this place and this person was playing guitar and I decided to draw the person. Uh, he's actually a really cool person and I really like him. Proportions, not good. I don't... But the lighting, I want to go back to that sort of lighting. It's really cool lighting. And this, I hate it. It's hideous, but... Yeah, I I was trying to draw somebody I saw. This does in my more of a stylized didn't work out. It looks very bad. I hate it. it. Looks very muddy. And this is the same person but more stylized, which looks more like the person. This picture I don't really like either. It's just grayscale. Um Another person I saw and I wanted to draw and blotch in colors. I was at a cafe, so I was referencing stuff. I really hate that picture. I think that's my least favorite picture in the whole entire page. Also, this girl looks very stiff. I hate this picture. Just period. And I think I was I was writing down songs. So don't pay attention to that. It was Valentine's Day, and I saw this makeup look that James Charles did. So I was like, what if I draw it? Like paint it, and so that's what I did, and I made him do a little heart, but it's very bad. I don't, I like the, I don't like the hair. Like I, I don't think I did the head well because the head should have gone further back. Like there's so many stuff wrong, and I hate the hands. But you know what? Whatever. Ooh, okay. So this is getting into more of my creepy side. I really like drawing creepy drawings. I don't draw it that much, but I really love creepy stuff. I love creepy pastas, I love horror stories, I just love drawing creepy stuff, so I decided to combine an anglerfish with a fox. It looks just like an evil fox, and I combined an anglerfish with a human, and this is this is basically the fox, evil fox thing that I decided to paint. Um, it's very long, it's a very different type of sketchbook. Um, yes. Then we have the anglerfish. Sorry, this is maybe a little bit scary, but this is an anglerfish. Uh, I don't think it's that scary, but whatever. And I did a sketch and I decided to color it. This is my character. This is more of how she looks now. Uh, but it looks very bad because you don't really see too much detail. But this pose, I want to go back to this pose right here. This is my other character that I thought he was going to look like, but he's not going to look like that at all. Um, then I saw these TikTok drawings, so I was like, ooh, let me draw something like that. Failed. I do like this painting of an anglerfish. I really like anglerfishes because they're creepy, but they're also very simple to draw in my opinion. Then there's this girl, galaxy girl, which I actually kind of like the face. Well, I mean, I like the blending in this thing, and I was just trying to draw this. I forgot her name, but she's from Allure Olympus. <laughs> I failed to draw Hades from Allure Olympus. Um, Valentine's Day, I drew another person, and a different type of style. It was supposed to be unproportional, like small proportions, sort of chibi-ish, chibi, chibi, you know. Some creepy stuff, but it didn't really work out. Oh, yes! I like drawing blood. Casey Golden, basically, ever since Casey Golden was like, ooh, drawing blood's so fun, and I'm like, huh? Drawing blood's hard, but I'm like, no, it's not, actually, when I actually tried to do it. And I really, really like this picture of Jeff the Killer. Okay. That story is so sad. Don't... It's not even creepy, in my opinion. It's just sad. I took inspiration from a song that I liked listening to, and... Now that I look back at it, it looks like marshmallow, but it's not supposed to be marshmallow. I promise you that. It's not. It's not. I don't know what I, I was trying to draw like a scarecrow thing, but filled with money, but it didn't work. Feet. I was just drawing and coloring feet. Starfish vs. Evil. Yes, uh, I painted this picture with gouache. Well, first I did the base in watercolor, and then I was like, it's not opaque enough, so I wanted to do gouache. Uh, that hair is not flowy enough because I accidentally smeared it with black and then I was like, oops. So I just, Harley Quinn, I love Harley Quinn. I was just doing people, it, it looks muddy, it looks bad, but yeah. So these are my characters. Uh, this is before I changed my character's design. I did this, that coloring over there a little bit out of order. I did the coloring way later. So this was Mermaid. 
a day one party. So they were just having a party. And that is my other character and these two. Yes, that is her love interest, but he's more than that. Also, I really hate how he looks in this picture. This, he looks like a jawbone teenager, and I really hate that, because that's not all what he looks like. He doesn't look like this. It looks bad. And then we have a girl. The prompt was sunset, and it was day five of Mermaid, and I decided to make her hair look like a sunset. It in the water though, and the water was kind of like glowing and everything. Like, her hair was glowing and everything. Half nude, but whatever. You know, let's forget about that. And then we have another thing. So I decided to go with more of a fishy element, and it was tsunami. So I'm like, what if there was tsunami happened and a mermaid was walking by in this broke down city, and there was bones. So I hate this painting. And I love it at the same time. It's so good. I love, you need, if you don't read Webtoon, you need to read this Webtoon. It is Castle Swimmer and it is amazing. And the thing was heroic. So, this is a spoiler alert. Uh, he saved him. He didn't die though, spoiler alert. But I don't like the portions too much on this thing. So yeah. He saved him by like taking the blow and this was royalty and I was like oh what if I do like a royalty like, like she's on a thing okay she's on a mm, what's it called again a throne that's that's what it's called okay I don't the, the proportions are a bit off because it was kind of smushed in so yeah I was gonna make her eyes black but I was like oh it kind of gives like a nice subtle glowy look if I did blue thing so this thing was I kind of do like this painting but the proportions are a bit off too because it was cramped her fin's supposed to be going down into the water but I don't think you can tell that it just kind of looks like her proportions are off with her legs um and her head's too big but it's actually she's slowly like I don't know how to explain it but yes this it was a drift so uh as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but this is inspired by a picture I saw. And I was like, oh, it looks like a goldfish. So I decided to do inspiration from that picture and a goldfish. And this was inspiration from a crab. It was Crust Ends Mermaid, day 17. Um, we have wrecked. So I did like a shipwreck picture and and like oh it's not really mermaid thing because we're doing just the ship you know like mermaids so I'm like what if you see that a tiny little mermaid there well I technically did a mermaid I was telling myself why well, technically did a mermaid okay so this one oh I didn't write that the prompt I don't know if you can see but basically this is the prompt was shipwreck and the story is that the guy is basically floating in the ocean and he meets this like mermaid but really she is evil and that's not her real face this is her real face but it's so subtle if I made it bigger I don't I think you would notice but it's so subtle that no one actually noticed this little evil creature there that's actually going to eat him so you saw this this unicorn thing that was a terrible video, I apologize. This, I never finished because I lost the reference. Landscape. You've seen this. Sketchbook uh, session, just sketch with me thing. Don't really like it, but whatever. You've seen this also, an evil unicorn sort of thing. And a rainbow unicorn-ish thing thing like it's sort of just fading out into like this rainbow looking thing oh and this uh super quick mountain sketch that I did well sketch painting that I did then I did another unicorn uh, kind of making this rainbow thing in June uh, yeah and he's on this cloud and I basically wanted to do all gray scale just gray with a 
rainbow. So the rainbow really popped. Um, and then these characters, and then I really like them. They're a cute couple. That's not what the story is about, though. If you ever want to hear about what the story is, please tell me because I really want to tell you, but it's also really dark. But yes, this is another painting that I did. It was done on the 7th. No, you know, this doesn't actually actually matter, but this is the date to that. Um, not on the 7th, but it was done on the 2nd. Um, of the, yeah. yeah, I like that. But uh, then the last page of the sketchbook, uh, never really finished it, but it was a fox. And I did this first, and then I did this second. But yes, this is my sketchbook. Um, but one thing I want to go back to is this because I am so proud of this I love this this I, I know the proportions are off and everything and yes the neck is thin on purpose um but yeah I just I really like it and this is kind of what I go for when I do stuff so yes um finally this one, and I really like this. This kind of elevates these two pictures. That's my style right there. These two pictures, except for thinner neck on this. Um, this is a little bit, this even is a little bit too thick of a neck. I like thin neck, like you could snap it. I changed my haircut, but this is what my hair used to look like. Am I gonna change my profile picture anytime soon? Not until I have a picture that I really like with my haircut. But it's kind of, my haircut is kind of like my character's haircut right there, except for about the swirly thing. So imagine just, just, just this, sort of both sides shaven, little top thing. I really hate that picture, by the way, but yeah. That's sort of the style I like wearing colorful but like a little bit of spike stuff <sighs> and I realized my character looks like me but accidentally because it, she he didn't she didn't use to look at me until I changed my haircut and then I was like great I changed my haircut again and now I look like my character again what is wrong with me okay yes this is my ninth sketchbook or tenth I don't know tenth or ninth and I'm gonna put Mod Podge over this so it, the paint doesn't keep cracking. Um, I don't know. I don't really like this cover too much. I feel like it doesn't elevate my style very well. This is my sketchbook, and I really hope you enjoy this sketchbook tour. If you like this video, please subscribe and like this video. And uh, if you're really feeling good, then turn on the notifications and comment. What's your favorite spread? Tell me if you want more sketchbook tours with old sketchbooks. I'm almost done with my new sketchbook. I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour of that if you wanna see my old sketchbooks. And I would love to roast them. <laughs> Koodles, my noodles, and don't forget to draw a poodle.